Shuggy's turn. What do you think? Is she going to be pregnant? I think so. It's a gold 66. What is your vote, Blake? Yes. Yeah, Casey? Alan, do you think so? I think she is, even though gold 66 is barely a year old right now. So we'll see. So we're gonna ask a professional. Sean, do you think she'll be pregnant? She would only be about 30 days old. Well, 30 days. If, if you want my professional opinion, I'll give it to you in about 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's, That's cheating. A, that <laughs> All right, we're here at the pasture in town. We just got Shuggy loaded up um, and we have our horses. It's Chipper, Cherry Twist, and Shuggy right here behind me. We're gonna take them all to get um, Shuggy's preg tested and the other two are just making sure they're healthy to um, be bred to either one of the studs. But as we loaded them, we realized that there is small, medium, and large in here. So this is a res reservation mare, Shuggy. And she might be pregnant to Gold 66. We'll show you him here in a second. He's looking awesome. And then Cherry is our large, so small, large, and medium is Chipper. And uh, we're gonna take you along as we go get Shuggy preg tested. And we're gonna flush Chipper out with an antibiotic so that she's ready. Um, she went a couple years without being able to get pregnant and we don't know what was wrong, but my mom had mentioned that years ago we had a, a mare that um, would get a low-grade infection in her uterus and couldn't carry foals unless she got flushed out with antibiotics. So we got her flushed out and she was able to carry booger last time. So we're gonna flush her out with the antibiotic and then Cherry Twist, we're gonna make sure she's ready to go too. So come along. At this pasture here in town, we just pulled Shuggy out of, but this is Gold 66 and Poco. They're just out on the pasture and we're gonna leave them until we get back and then we'll bring Shuggy back. And we actually set up some panels last night right down there um, just to clean up all this stuff out here. There's not much grass down here, but down there there's a lot of tall grass that we're gonna allow the horses to clean that out for a few days. And then we'll put them back out in this pasture, but it'll be nice because we're gonna irrigate and um, we'll have them out of the way and to the side of the pasture while there's water on this pasture. But follow along as we take these horses to get preg checked and um, examined to make sure they're healthy and ready to carry some babies. Well, we're almost here. We brought the whole family today and we're gonna go check out these mares. My cousin, Sean Palmer, is amazing with equine reproduction. And I don't think there's anyone that knows it better than him. And so he's going to help us out. And so here we go.
So, Sean ran up to the house, but we're gonna have them all here ready. The wind's horrible out there today, <laughs> but now we're inside the wind, the barn. Hopefully, the wind won't be so bad. We gotta go show some of the other horses that are here to be bred. Sounds good. Sean has a registered stallion, and he AIs. And Look how cute that baby is, Mom. Oh man, that baby is cute. I love her color. I love that color on that. Yeah, that's what I just said too. It's a big, big mare right here. Mm -hmm. She's really big. She's pretty too. I'm sure glad he has this barn. Yeah. What horse is this right here? Rope and Marina. Oh, how fun. Thank you so much. Yep. We brought small, medium, and large today. That was perfect. Okay, so, okay, Do you care so, if we video you for our YouTube channel? No, no, that's fine. Um, okay, so, okay, so she's, she's a flush, and then what's the other two? She's the one that we just got off the track and uh, want to breed her to our Pepto Bismol stallion. But what's it called? A, 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 they can be sewn shut? Oh, Castlicks. A Castlicks. Yeah, I just want to make sure that she doesn't have a Castlicks. Okay. Okay. I mean, if, if it'd be good to look inside her and see anything, that would be. Don't. She's good enough. We'll look at her in there. So, okay, so are we going to ultrasound any of them? We're going to ultrasound that one. Okay. Just a little res mare that um, has been running with my yearling Palomino stallion. Okay. And I saw him trying to get the job done and I thought, you know what? She's just a, a, a fun little kid's horse. Uh -huh. <coughs> but if she's in full to him, that may make a difference. Okay. Yeah. On if we keep her or sell her or what we do with her. So. Okay. Okay. So we're going to ultrasound that one. We're going to check this one for a Catholic. Uh, I wouldn't mind ultrasound her just seeing you know, if she. If you think she looks good to have a baby. Okay. I mean, okay, we're golden. Hey, you're amazing. Okay, so. So what we'll do with her. We brought you a hat from the farm on Route 66 today. So. <laughs> hey, right on. I know. Um, I get to watch one of those once in a while. John Wilhelm. Brings a lot of horses over here. He and I have been doing a lot together. Yeah, I tell you that that's cool. Um, that's a cool trick, trick right there. To... Pe people, uh, yeah, yeah. I got a patent on that. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got, oh, a that. I got a patent on this right here too. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant. But then your gloves used, and you have to go in with no glove, huh? No, that's, no, that's, that's, where, on that? that's where you guys come in. Uh, not me. Go ahead, Blake. Blake would do it. So this what? is Chipper, and she should not be in full, but we we're hoping to get one more baby out of her. And uh, so we're going to flush her out with an antibiotic, because that sure did the, the trick last time. So this is Betadine. This just gets, this just gets everything nice and clean and sterilized and then these are these are lactated ringers those are what? La lactated ringers it's uh, sodium chloride and calcium chloride and it's it's a it's a thousand mls and it's it's a good way to uh, to flush them out, you um, you put a certain antibiotic in it, and and then you just inject it directly into the uterus. So we're going to put we're going to put uh, 200 mLs in. Um, vaginally and then 800 mls uh, through the cervix and into the uterus and 
the solution itself is is beneficial, but what's really beneficial is the stuff that we put in it. This is awesome. Well, it sure did the trick. Her mom used to have the same problem. She wouldn't settle unless we flushed her out. Well, you have you have to create as as clean as clean of an environment as possible so that when the egg is fertilized, so you got to have a viable egg and viable semen, and then when those come together, there's a certain point where the the conceptus starts to form inside the uterus and if it's not clean then it's uh if it's if it's too harsh of an environment and i tell you you do not want to have your finger back there <laughs> when you do this ouch you usually only do that once in a lifetime <laughs> <laughs> and, and you've done it your one time Let, so let's you... let's just say i know that i know that personally <laughs> so is that better than that beta that yeah You actually put some of that in there. Yeah. This is like a AV or a IV cocktail or something. Yep. <laughs> yep. You've heard of cocktails before. I know. This but whole move right here is very important. You got to keep this up. You gotta snap this right there because you only have two hands. So to make sure it's running good. And you lubricate this area here. So then I'm gonna put so we're gonna put 200 in here just to make sure that if there's any kind of bacteria vaginally that it's that it's all eliminated. And it seems like last time oh, 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 oh. I gave her a shot of Ludolice when I went home. Is, are we going to have to do that again? Or, um, or, or not? If not, that's... It all depends on where she's at um, okay. in, her, in her cycle. Sometimes I get a little bit uncomfortable because this is, this is nice and cool. It's not refrigerated, but it's cool. And it's a lot cooler than her body temperature, so... Sometimes I'll get a little worried. Okay, so now I gotta find the cervix and then insert this tube through the cerv through the cervix into the uterus, which is going through the cervix right now. Really, you could just fill it and it'll hold that up for you? Uh, no, that's okay. Okay, and then I just fold this over and then just squeeze the back of this bag like toothpaste. And then it just hurries it up a little bit. And I wish doctors would hurry up IVs sometimes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see you wear a cowboy hat. Except on really, really windy days. Today is borderline ball cap. <laughs> well, you, we you, brought you, you one. Yesterday, did, did you guys... Um, See what the wind speed was yesterday? It was right around one o'clock here, one fifteen here. We, we we had forty-six mile an hour winds with sixty mile an hour gusts. It was crazy for about twenty minutes. It was and then it slowed down to about, you know, 30, 50, 50, <laughs> 50 mile an hour gusts. Yeah. Yeah, we we could let this run by gravity and it would take thirty minutes. And uh but she was getting it done. Yeah. So, it's, I mean, this is how I always do it. I just. We really appreciate you doing this. This is awesome. Yeah. Is this what this oh, did you get it on you? Did you get it on you? What's that? This yeah, this yeah, this is called an equitainer. And this, so the semen, this is a very expensive contraption that keeps a stable temperature inside and it, it's real heavy duty and then inside there's this guy here and then it's got cooling packs inside that so inside of here there is 
there is a, a dose of semen. So this is live semen that was collected just a few hours ago and it was put on it was put on FedEx. It costs about $350 to send it and then you get it pretty much anywhere in the world within 24 hours. So you can you can literally breed pretty much any female to any male that's capable of making that happen. And they never even have to they don't even have to be in the same country, the same state, or anything. That's a, that's a lot amazing. of these babies are born to uh, to mothers that uh, you know that they were they were impregnated by stallions that were multiple states away. You know, Texas, Louisiana, uh, Georgia, that's New crazy. York. Yeah, and they they never see each other. I'd ask for the family discount, but sometimes family discounts are uh, yeah, more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta, yeah, if we don't have to do genealogy, then it's always more. Okay. It's been like 10 or 12 years ago, but uh, some people that have, ne have never had a horse before, they, they, um, they bought a horse and they were, she was, they called her a girl horse and they were looking for a boy horse to breed her to. <laughs> and they looked down the street and there's a guy who had some horses and they went down there and said, you have any boy horses here? And they said, well, these are, those are mares and those are gildings and that's a stallion. We want to breed one of your boy horses to her. And, they, and the guy says, well, it's winter time and it's, you know, they they usually don't cycle in the winter time. Well, let's try it. Well, he happened to have a, an intact boy horse. And so these people from the city, um, took their horse over, their mare over, and she happened to be in heat. So they, they made an appointment to get her preg tested about 14 or 15 days um, after all this took place and dinged if she wasn't in fault. Really? And they just picked a day when it was handy for them and and they took it over to the boy horse and <laughs> and he bred her one time. Well, anyway, so then she had a baby a few a few days before Christmas and they built a nice lean-to and a... And a uh, anyways, it was unbelievable how it all went together for him. That's crazy. And other people spend thousands of dollars. And okay, so we have got. Okay, so this is this is all fluid right here. This is all. You see the fluid floating around from. Uh, this is this is real time right here. That's well, where. I want to go over there closer so I can yeah, see. Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is this is this is real time and. And you see the, the fluid floating around inside. Yeah. Um, so that's the body of the uterus. And then I'll go up here to the side. So here is the left ovary. It's got two, I'd say medium sized follicles. It's got one that's about 18 and one that's about 20. Okay, she looks good. Her, uh, her horns are nice and clean. Okay, there's the fluid again. That's the fluid that we put in there. So the fluid has an antibiotic called Jenison in it. And then she's got a little bit of stuff in the way. It's usually, it's usually intestinal or manure or something like that. And so she's, she's blocking this. Okay, there it is right here. Okay, so this is her left, or this is her right ovary. So, so this, this area right there is her ovary. And then the two black spots right there, those are her, those are follicles. So she's got a, like a couple of 14, 15 millimeter follicles on her there. So how soon do you think she'll be coming back in the Um, you know, it, uh, um, it's hard to say, but we, what we need to do is, uh, I'll send you with a shot of oxytocin and you give her a shot of oxytocin at your, at your place and um, and then that will contract her uterus and then it'll expel all of that fluid out her cervix is open and it'll expel all of that out um, and then then you can give her a shot of utilize uh, to bring her back in or you can just wait for her to come in naturally on her own so it's totally up to you whatever you want to do she's got She's got a couple of follicles on the left side that are building. Um, yeah, if you could just tease her every day or every other day. Teasing, teasing doesn't bring them in heat. It just indicates whether they're in heat. Yeah. A mare, 
Um, sometimes people think that that if, if a mare that, that a mare doesn't cycle until she gets around a male, and but that's not true. They she just don't she show it. yeah she does they don't show it right up. Yeah, they cycle fine, or they don't cycle fine, and but they start showing when they're around. Okay, who's next? Okay, so so how is she is she Arizona bred or what is she? No, wasn't it out? I think it's out of Texas. Looks like she pair to themselves vaginally and cause pain in their uterus. You'll cause them to quit running. They won't run against that pain. So if you keep if you sew them down, then they uh, it stops the ability to siphon and pump air into their uterus. What did you call it again? A castle. Castle. Yeah. Castle. So she does have one. So we're gonna have to. Yeah, I was. Gonna, I was gonna try to show. I was gonna try to show you for your video what it what it looks like. So her vulva will. Oh, 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 oh. She she knows what's up here. Oh, I can oh, see oh. it. Yeah. So it's sewed from here all the way down to here. She, Instead of having all of that opening, all she has is this tiny, tiny opening. Just enough to urinate out of. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. So is it hard to cut those stitches out? No, well, the stitches Once are gone. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's just a real thin flap of skin, but you, you've got to do it. it. She would have to be sedated, and then you'd have to give injections here to deaden that, and then you want a nice, clean opening. Shuggy's turn. What do you think? Is she going to be pregnant? I think so. It's a gold 66. What is your vote, Blake? Yes. Yeah, Casey? Alan, do you think so? I think she is, even though gold 66 is barely a year old right now. So we'll see. He's only a year old. So we're going to ask a professional. Sean, do you think she'll be pregnant? It would only be about 30 days long. Well, if, if you want my professional opinion, I'll give it to you in about 60 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's, That's cheating. A, <laughs> okay, so the big, the, the big uh, uh, circle in the bottom, this, this is all, this is bladder right here. This is urine inside the bladder. And then up here, this is this is the uterus. So you're saying that you saw um, that mounts are quite a few things. Okay. How far along would you would she say she was? She would be about thirty days at thirty days. Okay. Yeah, it would it would be really, really obvious. Um, it, right in this area here it would have a Pregnancy about as big as a tennis ball at 30 days. So, your professional opinion? Uh, she is 100% not in full. So, I'm going to place Darn a it. five dollar <laughs> ticket on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing in there. All right. So, well, at least now we know. Well, it's been an eventful day. We found out Shuggy is not pregnant, so we've got to decide, are we going to breed her to 66 like we had originally thought, or or do we want to just go ahead and sell her? I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that one out. But also, we found out that Cherry Twist does have a Castlex surgery, so she's been sewn shut. So um, we left her here with my cousin, and he's going to sedate her and do that surgery, and then I'll come back and get her on Monday. And Chipper, we got her. What did we have her done to her, guys? Had her flushed out. Had her flushed out yeah. with an antibiotic, right? Do you have that shot, Blake? Yep, right here. So we'll give her a shot of oxytocin tonight, and that will cause her to contract and, and just get rid of all that fluid that we put in there, all the antibiotic, but she should be cleaned out and ready to go. So.
anyway this changes a few things instead of putting the mares we, we were thinking even though gold 66 is young if he was already able to settle a mare we might go ahead and get him or have him breed these mares and then we would maybe castrate him but since he did not settle a mare I think we may go ahead and put him with 66 and maybe we'll keep him till he's a two-year-old to get some babies before we castrate him anyway maybe give us some ideas or some comments but it's been a fun eventful day and let us know what you've learned or what you think have a good day